And so what we've been doing over the 15 years is we'll take a thousand insiders at risk, take their communication, put it into a uh, email or cache of some type, and then experiment with different psycholinguistic combinations that surface this information. And at this point, we can find 95% of these at-risk communications from 100% of the authors. But this is actual data from one of our client's sites, and we're looking at about 63 million messages here from 117,000 senders. That's a little deceptive because a lot of us have multiple mailboxes there. And so what you're seeing is the filtering process. So you can see we start with me, and I've said, I know the mean and standard deviation for the subgroup I'm interested in. Show me all the messages that have more than five me's. And so we immediately cut from 63 million messages to 34,000. But no one's going to review 34,000 messages. So we systematically use our psycholinguistic psycho variables to cut this down. And so you recall negatives are stand in for anger, you for blame, we have victimization uh, vocabulary we use, and then we can fine tune the anger into emails with negative feelings, intense negative judgments. Then we, get, we want to rule out the relationship stuff. And so we say, only show me those emails with more than X references to employment. Sometimes we get a religious hangover. There's some language in there like the blood of Christ that we don't want to see. And um, that gets us down to less than 1% of messages from less than 1% of senders. A third, according to this organization's criteria, were referred for a fuller investigation because there was enough data there to, to be concerned at this organization. This organization has a pretty low bar for concern. A third did not had issues, but did not reach that criteria, so they're kind of in a monitoring phase. And then a third were false positive. So the passage you're seeing is from a sysadmin who took down the servers at a New York bank, the accounting servers of all things. And this gentleman was um, worked for IT, but he was the darling of the accounting group who protected him from governance by the IT management. And he had made $520,000 charging overtime in the last year, and uh, he had a new um, supervisor who came in and said, we've got to correct this, and what we're going to do is offer him a quarterly consulting contract and get him to start training his backup. Well, that's a hazardous situation, as many of you know, and this is an example of some of his pushback. So let me give you this quick and dirty on psycholinguistics. So we want to operationalize anger, victimization, and blame, and we have about 60 variables to help us look at that, financial stress, sexuality, violence, etc. But here we're looking at anger initially, and, and follow me if you will. The, if I only had three or four variables to look, uh, to look for disgruntlement, these would be they. So uh, negatives, terms of negation, no, not never, and apostrophe T. So you can see in this quote, he does not know, I won't give, I can't, I won't. So what the software does is it looks at the mean and standard deviation for his peer group and identifies communications or individuals that are above that. So this would have popped out for negatives. Then when people are cornered and they're at risk, they also do a lot of blaming. We call it direct references. Uh, the term you, other personal pronouns. Again, you can, you can follow me if you like. Uh, until you fire me, I have to take orders from you and other pronouns. Again, we're looking at the mean standard deviation and uh, looking for outliers. And then finally, my personal favorite is me. Try using me in a sentence when you're not the object of action by others. You're talking to me, how could you do that to me? So at low levels, we find this a pretty good personality indicator of, of passivity, but at high levels, it's a great indicator of victimization. Again, follow me in, in orange. Uh, this person is being acted on. Until you fire me, um, relieve me, order me, you get the gist.